Today is day three of the Street Rotter Tour, and we are going to the Peterson Museum. And this is the entrance. That's a nice 55. And that's a car on our road tour, and not part of the museum. This is the entrance to the museum. And they told us to park on the third floor, and everyone here is parking on the first floor. All right, well, let's go in and see what we can find. I was just saying that yeah, these open cars were driven on dirt roads, and you get very filthy driving back then, and here's a car stuck in the mud. Peterson Museum really took a lot of time to set up their vehicles. They're not just lined up on carpet. They have mannequins and set these things up like they were back in the day. Makes it a very unique museum. I highly recommend if you're in the area in Hollywood on Wilshire, that's where you can come see the beautiful collection here at the Peterson Museum. The 1922 Willys. So come on down, check it out. This car here was unique because it has a convertible top, but it's only on the back. You can kind of see the difference in texture. That cloth rear just folds down, and you have the back of your car open. That car was only produced for half a year. This car over here, if you look, there's a little panel in the back. See that panel? What do you think that's for? A little trivia for you. Um, back in the day, golf clubs. You'd open up the hatch, slide your golf clubs in, and they fit just perfectly. Today we're at Hot Rods and Hobbies in Signal Hill, California. They make custom hot rods for whoever can afford it. This is our body shop that they've opened up today for us to come to view. And here's some of their projects they're working on. GTO back there. One builder of the year. And they were there for 10 years. It's nice. This nice 55. Yeah. Yeah, get this right here in there. I got it. All of it. All of it. No blurry, no blurriness. Well, I got tremors, remember, so my pictures are shaky. Mm -hmm. We need a couple of those lifts. <laughs> a couple of those in the garage. We got one. We need more. Make it like New York City. There's some other cars here. Some of their projects. You know when you're, when you're going through like when we when we get to the place you always talk about. No, I gotta do my own. You know, yeah. the old, the old GPS, the old hag, and you tell us about how she screwed up on it. We all talk about it in the group, but then you talk to other people. And you had the same problem. Should have turned left. Should have turned right. Should have went. 
Jack, it happens to more than just sure. us. Sure, it does. Yeah. You think, we're the only ones, Oh. damn near had me off on a hundred bucks. Oh, I get the same. His back hurts, so I told him to come sit down on the bench, but you think he can sit down? No, he went and stood up against the fence. Children. Got some, food going on got some good advice, though, from Scott, the owner. They have apprenticeships, yay, and people get paid for that. So that's what Corbin needs to do after he gets his welding certificate. Okay, we're leaving Hot Rods and Hobbies, owned by Scott Bonowski. Nice guy, talked to Corbin. Gave him some helpful hints, suggest he continues with the welding degree and then apprenticeship somewhere. And you get paid for that. Woohoo! So we get Corbin working on his own shop so he can be builder of the year like Scott was last year. There's Corbin. Okay, now we're headed to somewhere. Surf City Garage in Huntington Beach. See you there. Stop three on day three, Surf City Garage. You're in Huntington Beach, California. private collection run by the family. It's a family business. Surf City Garage. Did you get some water? They have cookies out for us in their little cafe. It's a little dirty. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. All the signs. It's amazing. The insanity of this collection is beyond belief. Looks like he sells car care products and that's probably how. He makes his income. He's got two of these trucks. These are the cars that need to be restored, unlike the ones that are inside that have been restored already. Here's another truck and trailer. This one's just on a dually. 